So I'm going to do a current favorites instead of doing monthly favorites because I usually never like have too many favorites for each month, especially January. I did not like really do anything or splurge or anything for January and February. It's just kind of been the same. So I'm just going to join the two months together and just have like what I'm currently liking. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing, like category I guess I should do is fashion. So I really have been liking sweaters lately like this. And they also like have at Route 21, this is where I got both these things, as always. They have these graphic ones that have graphics on them. And I just absolutely needed this in my life. It's a polar bear and it's like a teal blue and I love it. And I wear it like all the time. It's kind of like bad, but I mean, I love it. It's so soft. It's just like perfect quality. The next thing I should do, I guess, would be accessories and like jewelry. And the jewelry I've been liking is this necklace here. And it's bejeweled. And it actually matches my Valentine's Day dress I was going to wear. But I ended up working. So I wore this to be more casual because I mean, you can't really wear a dress to work. But I'm sure I will find a, a day and time to wear this with my dress. And it's just so beautiful. And I, like, love it. And my other accessory would be this wallet that I got for Christmas that y'all saw in my Christmas haul. And if you didn't, I'll link it down below. It is just a perfect shiny. I was telling my grandmother that I was wanting something shiny and, like, blue that I could put stuff in. Like, I was hoping to get a purse, but I mean, the wallet's just fine. It goes great with like anything, and I absolutely love it. And it's just really shiny, and I really love it. And it fits everything I need, nothing more, nothing less. Just perfect size for all my stuff I need to go. I need, and it's also a wristlet, so I can just go on the go with this and my phone, and I'm good to go. The next thing, well, I guess, will be beauty favorites. The only makeup thing I am like die hard have to have this whole like winter but I like beauty wise is the EOS lip balm it is my lifesaver for this winter because my lips even right now are really chapped I'm going to apply it right now and I love this one out of all my next beauty favorites would be this line of nail polish which is confetti there's like sun shining on it but confetti line and I also have this color which is like the same as my shirt a little bit more pink and this one's called pink paradise even though it's like a pale pink and then this one's called last dance and I've been getting these like every month now and I have a blue one that's like shimmer glittery and stuff and then I have a solid one that's uh like a teal color like this here and I just absolutely love them. I would next thing but I guess you could consider beauty favorites, but I have been loving these LA Fresh oil free face cleanser wet wipes. And they're fragrance free and paraben free and they're eco beauty and they are safe water, save life, cruelty free and natural ingredients. And it shows on here that they're made of aloe, cucumber, papaya, pineapple, marshmallow, jojoba vitamin C and vitamin E and I love these things way more than simple I'm sorry I've used simple ever since I've watched Beauty Baby 44 or Lindsay Hughes if you know about her and I'll link her down below if y'all want to check her out she's pretty cool but she uses simple makeup wipes and I was like she has sensitive skin and I figured it would help me because I have sensitive skin because everything irritates around my nose and my head area but Every time I would use them, or this, like, mask I've used, I, I don't know if it's the mask that was messing up my skin more, or it was the wipes, but every time I'd wipe my makeup off at night, I would get red splotches, like, all over my face, and I was like, I don't think that's supposed to happen, and I stopped using them and just started using, like, a towel and stuff to get my makeup off, but it wasn't coming all off, so I was, like, really agitated, and then my mom got these with the confetti nails, and she was like, here, try these out. And they work amazing. Work amazing. It only takes one wipe to get all your makeup off. I would say you need to clean your face after, which, I mean, if you don't, 
it's up to you, but I always clean my face after I use these unless I'm really, really tired, like sometimes I do, I'm just saying. I do just use this and go to sleep, but it does the job, and it does not leave me red. I love this. Um, Bath and Body Works. Love that store. I can't smell candles, don't know why. I can, I just can't. Like, I want to, I want to have, like, all the candles and almost burn my house down from how many candles I have, but I can't smell them, so there's no point in me buying them. I buy the, the shower gel because I do smell that, which is weird because how can I smell that more than I can a candle? But, like, the shower gel I have and a couple lotions I get, like, for Christmas presents I use. But the main thing I buy there are sanitizers, hand sanitizers. And this is by far my favorite one. It is... Hippo Berry, and oh, just, I gotta smell it, because it smells so good, and I've been using the heck out of it, because everybody's been sick, oh, it smells so good, it smells so good, it smells just beautiful, even though it's a sanitizer, and it, like, is really bad, but I really love it, because I've been using it a lot, with everybody being sick, and, like, I, I just love, like, rubbing my hands with berry, and I picked this one out, actually, for my hand sanitizer, which is a hippo, so it was perfect. And I absolutely love it. I actually got two of these. This is the one that's not in the case. I have the other one in the case. And I just absolutely love it. Go check out some pocket sanitizers. They have, I have one that's gingerbread mint, or no, cocoa mint. And then I have gingerbread man, warm sugar, this one. I mean, I have tons. And I probably, I'm not even naming them all. But I love those. I'm really trying to do this year is get fit and be healthy and everything. First thing that helps is this. I've been seeing the Multivite uh, gummies on TV. They are 11 to $12, and I just don't have that kind of money for gummies. They were like $6 plus tax, but it was so worth it because I feel like my hair has got gradually, gradually thicker. It is the Hair, Skin, and Nails gummies with biotin, and it's Natural Bounty, Optimal Solution, and it's got like no artificial flavor, no milk, no lactose, no soy, no gluten, no wheat, no yeast, no fish, no gluten free. And it's just got like food coloring and, and gelatin, of course, there's a gummy and corn syrup. There's nothing really bad in this. Like, it is really good. And I've been taking twice a day. It says to take twice a day and eat, preferably with a meal. And you can take one or two times a daily. Just, I've been using these every day and I feel like it actually has really worked. But on top of that, I've been really, like, changing my hair care routine of how, like, I wash my hair and how many times I wash my hair. And I have, like, a mask that I've been using. So, like, if you want a hair care routine, I can do it. But, I mean, it's not really all that big of a thing. It's just I've been switching out conditioner and doing treatment and then doing conditioner three days later. And I feel like my hair's been doing better. I have been trying to work out, even though I've been working, but I'm trying to get my trainer to give me her workouts so I can do them when I'm off, or when I'm off work after it's already done for the class, because she only does it for like an hour, and normally I've been working lately, so this has been my lifesaver there, because it's a hard, hard floor, and I use the yoga mat, because if y'all know, I'm really bony, and I can be doing crunches and stuff on a really hard floor, and it hurting my back, so I got this yoga mat. And I've been using it at home, working out, and I've been doing routines and stuff. And I have gradually been seeing results. I've actually gained um, five to seven pounds, I think, since I've started. And I'm so happy. I know that's not a lot, but, like, for me, that is just great. I'm actually 110 again. I was 110. I was actually 130 one time, then 120, then 110, then 106. And just, like, it just changes all the time but I'm trying so hard to gain weight so it's really good to find out that I'm actually gaining a little bit of weight. My last kind of oddball things that I've been loving and the first thing is this is really weird. Lactaid pills for if you're lactose intolerant. I am so glad that my dad found these. Um, I cannot eat dairy anymore without getting sick, so I take these, it says take immediately before you have dairy, and you can have all the dairy you want, and that is true, because as soon as I take it, I can have whatever dairy I want without my stomach getting upset, but yeah, that is a lifesaver. Next lifesaver thing I have is this light, it's just a push on light, and I've been using, we've been using, me and Blake have been using these in our bedroom, like if we have any other, uh, restroom or whatever we just take these because it's really dark in our room we never have any lights on so 
because I feel like it's just wasting electricity and everything. So we just use these to get to the restroom, which is good because we can just pop them on, walk to the restroom, go in there, turn it off, go to the restroom, turn it back on, walk in. And it's just really good. They're only like, I think, $3. And it comes with two in a pack. So, yeah, we have one on the wall, actually, and then this is the one we take to the room. Or to the restroom and back. So, yeah, this is a good thing. And my last favorite for my current likes is this game here, which is Cards Against Humanity. This is not for the fainted heart. You have to have, like, you cannot care about offensive comments with this game. Because, I mean, it makes fun of, like, everyone. But it is hilarious, especially how you put the words together. I absolutely love this. I've had so many people get this game, and I figured we needed it. So we ordered it, and we love it. We play with our friends, and we just have a great time. So, you, if you are not the fainted heart and you don't care like what people think and like opinions about people making fun of people then this would be a great game for you and your friends to have at a party. Um, that is all my current favorites. I didn't have that much but I hope you enjoyed anyway and if you did a rating would be much appreciated just go down there and click thumbs up and if you have not subscribed there's a button right below it that says subscribe and you can join my channel and I'm helping me grow and yeah i'm now rambling about i don't even know so i'm gonna go ahead and go i will see y'all next time and until next time stay sweet cupcakes bye